Welcome to the Guitar Resource Podcast. Practice topics for the beginning and intermediate guitarist. Hello, and welcome to this episode. This week we're going to be talking about the E7 chord. And uh, so, similar to E, except we are going to have this uh, dominant sort of uh, characteristic sound. So let's begin with how to play it, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, constructing the chord. So we have a first finger on the third string, first fret, and then the second finger on the fifth string, second fret. And we can strum all of the strings for this. Okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, key areas you might find this in. It could be a one chord, especially like a sort of a blues progression. Um, it could also oftentimes be the five chord in the key of A. Or the five chord in the key of A minor. So that's often where you'll uh, find it. So five, five chord in the key of A. So if we were take a look at the key of A, we would count it out like one, two, three, four, five. When we get to the E, we call we we build a chord off of that. We end up with a five chord. And the five chord resolves very strongly to the one chord. So let's uh, let's pick this apart a little bit. Um, why don't we build a, uh, a scale first with uh, uh, the pitch names? So we'll start with E here on the sixth string. We'll call that the root. Second fret, call that two. Fourth fret, we'll call that the three. And then we'll go to the uh, fifth string. We have the four open. And then the fifth is the second fret on the fifth string. And then we have the sixth, which is fourth fret on the Fifth string. Then we have the flat seven, and then which is fourth string open, and then the root. Okay. So let's try going an octave uh, above that. So that's E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, and E. So let's try going um, an octave above that. So we'll start with this E on the fourth string, second fret. It's the root. Two, fourth fret. Now moving to the third string, first fret. It's the third, second fret. Call that the four. Second string open is the fifth. Second fret, that's the sixth. The flat seven is the third fret, and then first string open. And those pitch names are E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D natural, and E. Um, and just a, a little ad additional information, when we, when we are playing uh, with a seven in our chord, Oftentimes we'll we'll call the six a thirteen, call the two a nine, and we'll call the uh, four an eleven. So one thing you could try to think uh, is uh, as a as a quick rule of thumb: if you have a seven in your chord, you take two, add seven, you get nine. At, uh, take six, add seven, you get 13. And add, uh, see, so four, seven, and we get 11. Okay, so let's name the notes from low to high with the pitch name. So we have 
E, B, D, G sharp, B, and E. And then the, um, the numbers, we'll, we'll go with the root, fifth, flat seven, third, fifth, and the, first, and the root. And now sometimes to get a little extra bite on the chord, we'll take that D, play it up an octave as well. And so that I'm using fourth finger on the second string, third fret. So you might also try thinking in terms of uh, the solfege. So if you are thinking in terms of that, uh, why don't we uh, talk about it in the key of A. So uh, the E would be so, second fret would be la, T, and then that's the sixth string. So now we're on to the fifth string. Fa, Second fret is so, uh, or sorry, uh, do rather, do, re, mi, and that's on the fifth string. And then fa on the fourth string open, and so. So let me go over that again if I, in case I confused you a little bit. So, so, la, ti, do, re, mi. So, and then from from that uh, second fret in the fourth string, we have so la ti do re mi fa so. Okay, so that's the uh, thing in terms of a. All right, so a few things we might try uh, to play around with on this. Uh, this is a nice uh, chord to try something like. So I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing there. So I've, I've got second string open. I'm kind of emphasizing that and I'm muting the first string a little bit. I'm using the third finger on the second fret of the second string. Fourth finger on the third fret of that second string. And I'm just kind of playing. Kind of back and forth with that. So another thing you can try is to top here. So we have the uh, second fret on the first string. So that's a nice chord uh, to kind of try out. So as you're playing with this, uh, see if you can experiment a little bit. There's also the, if you replace the third, which we found on the on third string, with the uh, four. call that a 7 sus 4. Okay, so review a little bit here at the chord again. First finger on the third string, second finger on the fifth string, maybe the fourth finger on the on the uh, second string third fret as well. So I'll try to get familiar with the chord and the, the scale, that mode I was using. That's uh, Mixolydian, in case I didn't mention that. So get familiar with it and maybe play around with it a little bit. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, tune in again uh, next week, and please have a good uh, practice week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Guitar Resource Podcast. Be sure to rate and subscribe. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.